I want to hold the blower. I love blowing things. <laughs> hey, everybody, gave you some bitches. Okay, so my batteries ran out in the middle of my last recording, which was really funny. That really annoys me. Hey, they say when your palm itches. Money's coming. <gasps> I'm gonna go buy a lottery. I wanna know why both of my clocks say two different times. The kitchen clock says 10 after 6. The other clock says 20 after 6. Odd. Odd. I don't even know what time it is. Okay, so I went outside of my courtyard. I went across to the end of my courtyard. I could look across the street at the Ralph's grocery store. And I saw this little orange tent thing. And it said, The Love Loaf Tour. Cute. I wanna go drive around in it. What the hell's a Love Loaf? And then I looked over and I saw the Love Loaf bus. It's a little chunk of cheese. It's a little Love Loaf chunk of Tilla milk cheese. Adorable. And so I asked the lady what was going on and she said, let me get something for you. And she reached down her bra to grab something. <laughs> then she started looking for it like this, like most women who keep stuff in their bra. Now, explain to me why women think that's an okay thing. You go to Janet and you say, Hey Janet, you got your keys? And they're all like, Oh yeah, here you go. Hey Janet, you got your business card? Yeah, here you go. Hey Janet, you see that bottle of gold slogger? Oh yeah, here you go. Boom. You never, ever, 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 ever say, Hey Bill, you got your keys? And you never see the guy go, here you go! Hey Bill, do you have that can opener? Hold on! There you go. Hey Bill, where's that slice of pizza? Oh, I got it! Here you go! No. Guys don't keep junk with their junk. The only junk they got is their junk with their junk. And let me tell you, I got some junk. But apparently girls like to keep junk in the junk drawer. The bra is a junk drawer, is what I've discovered today. It's a total junk drawer. <laughs> oh, sometimes I put quarters in my junk drawer. <laughs> okay, so I had a fun day today. I butched it up and I went over to Nellie Bowman's house and I mowed her lawn. <laughs> Oh, that's right, I mowed her lawn. I know. Butch. I can do butch stuff. Um, oh my god, and you know what's in Nell's car? A hammer and um, a tape measure. She's got tools. I don't got any tools. Do you want to see my tape measure? Hmm. This is my tape measure. I can't even read it. It doesn't even make sense. Nothing. Yeah, that's my tape measure. It's like a, it's like a friggin' earring. Yeah, it's down there and I have to pick that up. Okay, so then I hopped on my bike after mowing the lawn. I went over to see America's meanest Girl Scout. That's right, Damara Jo Powell. Hi, DJP. And she was up to no good as usual. Um, when I'm when I when I'm six, I'm gonna take some pills. Really big pills. Hey, Damara, do you know what this is? A head. It's a brain sucking spider. Do you know what it's doing? Eating my head. Starving. We got everybody, we got Damar Joe Powell, and you got some friends in Australia that want to say hi to you. Say, hi Robin Jared. Hi Robin Jared. Robin Jared. Hi Robin Jared. Robin Jared. Goodbye, Mike. <laughs> I am Damar Joe Powell. It's the picture that got smaller. <laughs> that kid's a pistol. Then after that, with my neighbor, uh, Joanne Minerby, <gasps> We practice doing jigs out in the courtyard. <laughs> anyway, I got some fabulous episodes coming up with the fabulous Beekman boys. One, two, three. Thank you so much. With Tab of the Coffee from Tab of the Salon Takeover.
because she says women with square faces should have short curly hair and like I'm gonna have some stuff from the RuPaul's Drag Race um, Drag Queens and I think you need to all watch gay today because you know what girls I'm America's favorite gay and this is really gay look at me and I'm still doing it Oh, oh yeah, and I also got beaten our messing by an 11 year old. Yeah, I'm really proud of that. Gaze out! Gaze out! Gaze out! How do you like my nuts? <laughs>